I never bothered with the traps before because they seemed way too situational. Like with Sanctuary, I have no I still have no idea where the enemies come from in Sanctuary. There's a few settlements where I know approximately where the, the area they will most likely be in. Mark 7 turret, and fall down the hole. This takes a lot of copper if you're doing this. Just wiring them up like that. Each one of the each one of those that they did like that was I think one copper. And now we're going to place lights. Lights are my new power poles. I do not like using... Well, I didn't like using the wooden power poles before because I would always run out of wood. I know I mentioned that several times and I'm probably driving people crazy with it, but... In this game, I overbuild the hell out of my settlements to the point where wood is a precious commodity. Let's go to there. But I know a source of copper that most people don't seem to pay any attention to. If you want lots of copper, pick up every modified pipe pistol you see. Regular pipe pistols give you steel and nothing else. If you have, and I will show this to make sure, I better apply that level up. I'm just going to drive everyone batty. If you have, I know it's around here somewhere, this. Get the maximum of this as soon as possible. Scrap every gun you see afterwards. Every single one. Rare components like circuitry, nuclear material, fiber optics when scrapping weapons and armor. That also includes copper, aluminum, and other expensive things that go into this thing. As the first level shows right here. Screws, Cooper, co Cooper. Yeah, Cooper. You get lots of Cooper. Copper, aluminum. Very useful. You can build whole settlements just by going out, annihilating every raider you see, and then... I don't like the fact that that's different. That is going to annoy me. Well, annihilate all the raiders, and then scrap their guns. Once you're done scrapping their guns... You now have tons and tons of Cooper and aluminum, or as crazy British people call it, aluminium. That's meant to be a joke, not a, not a dig or anything. Come on, I have to make fun. I have to make fun of them. I'm American. I have to make fun of them. Practically the law. wondering about something. 
Huh. There we go. Let's remove this. I don't know if I want to remove that. I don't like it. It's going to look weird. That means this has to be a foundation. You know, little details like this that will probably drive everyone crazy and don't want that don't and then they don't want to watch my channel. Just think of this as a found footage thing. Even though that's a ridiculous idea. Concrete, 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 concrete. We want concrete there. We want to go outside. Those powered doors I don't think are going to be too useful. Because I'm not going to have any way to unlock them really. I just wondered if I could do this. Which I can. It looks ridiculous. It looks absolutely ridiculous. But it's a possibility. Let's put three little column pieces to fill it in. You just have to pretend it's one piece. Okay. You can kind of see I'm giving it a concrete veneer. Because we're up here on the top. And this metal's here. I wonder, if I take this hallway in now... If I take this down... And then I place the roof... This has worked with other parts. Can I now place the hallway in? It might not work because hallway ends. Oh, it did. That is great. That worked perfectly. give someone a locked room there and their job is security for that area and that you think that looks ugly right not visible now I think I'm going to make this my last episode of building in this, and I'm probably going to go off and go on a little combat spree. Probably do a little wandering in combat spree for the next few episodes. Just so that people can yeah, have a little bit of variety. Building's fun and all. In fact, probably the thing I like the best, most about this game is the settlement building. I'm sure everyone's going to suggest about 20 different games out there that's, that I would like. I actually have seven days to die. I've been wanting to try a multiplayer with that. But my computer may be dead, but... Brother's computer is deader than dead.
We're going to put one here. This is the one I wanted too. I think there's one where I wanted to put two in. There might be one or two that I wanted to put two in. So now we're up to 15 beds. This is just basic layout stuff, we're trying to keep the settlers from running away. As you know, as soon as they see that this is where they sleep and nowhere else, they're gonna say, no, the hell with that. I have to replace the shack foundation with a door, I think. Oh wait, would it, would it work? I don't think it'll work unless I replace this with a floor. Honestly, why not why not just clip? It would make things so much easier. Get some Get it just to clip through the thing and then you don't have to deal with this. Is it going to Is it going to line up? Stuff. I think two beds and a couple little beds here. I don't think they'll separate enough for someone with kids. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I have plenty of beds for now, so I'm not even going to mess with it anymore. Until I start actually building the rooms. But I honestly think this turned out pretty good. Considering all the problems. Might even be able to cover up that wall. I hurry, I might... This, this wall. I think I might be able to cover that. Unfortunately, it is going to look a little odd. What if I were to do this? I could not do that. Let's do that. 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 What am I going to do? By the way, see all the XP ticking up? There's another reason to build your settlement any way you want. All that XP goes into any trait you want. In case you're wondering, nothing more can be built because I had to build a bunch of these little things. Which really sized up my settlement, I guess. Well, as I'm not going to be getting rid of size in a very short amount of time, I'm going to have to end it off right there. But let's take a brief look from a distance. Look over there, I could probably add a few more walls. I'm gonna round off that building there to have the upper floor just, the upper floor will have no roof, but it will be like that. This floor, this area looks pretty good. I think even with the weird details like these columns, it looks really good. Uh, all in all, I like the new building. I kinda wish those stairs laid up a little better. They could, they still could use clipping. That's something I will never give up on. And I will never give up on saving, saying, you need to let us cram one building block into another. Well, that's it for this one. It's about to cut off the beginning. Have a good day and bye-bye.